In this fragment from The Will to Power, Nietzsche reiterates that virtue must always come from within one, not from an objective standard. Question. How is this view different from the recognition that virtue must always be applied in individual concrete cases? How radical is this view of Nietzsche's? Virtues are as dangerous as vices, insofar as one lets them rule over one as authorities and laws from without, and does not first produce them out of oneself, as one should do, as one's own most personal self-defense and necessity as conditions of precisely our own existence and growth, which we recognize and acknowledge independently of whether other men grow with us under similar or different conditions. This law of the dangerousness of impersonally understood objective virtue applies also to modesty. Many of the choicest spirits perish through it. The morality of modesty is the worst form of softening for those souls for which it makes sense that they should become hard in time.